Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today a beer that's um, you don't you hear a few things about. It's one of them beers that is generally always in supermarkets, selected supermarkets. Um, it kind of to me it's one of them beers that goes under the radar a little bit. Anyway, it's a stout from Jamaica, and it's the classic Dragon Stout. So this is coming in at 7.5% ABV. It's in a really small bottle. It's in a 284ml bottle. Standard in the UK is 330. Same with the cans. Um, I purchased this at um, Moonshine Billy's in Ramsgate. I just don't see it very often. Um, I used to see it a lot more probably about 10 years ago. Certainly around my, my neck of the woods. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, it's it's generally always available in that shop, so for, yeah, I was going to just drink it. And I thought, no, let's do a review. And I do that a lot with beers. I buy certain beers. I think oh, I can get it again doing a hangout. I can just drink it. No, just do a review, get it out of the way. So here it is. Um, so product of Jamaica. Um, this beer is produced by Dinos and Geddes. Um, I think one of their famous beers is uh, the Red Stripe. Um, looking on tap, they've got 22 beers listed there. So this is a, a, a macro brewery in Jamaica. Um, I think recently they um, have been taken over by Heineken. Um, I think they've got like a 70 odd percent, 73 percent um, stake in, in this brewery. Um, they've been going since um, 1918. Um, and this is the this is the original stout since 1920. So, 7.5% ABV. I don't know if there's any kind of IBU count. Probably not. No. So anyway, let's crack it open. There's the bottle cap. Uh, where's the bottle owner? Here. It's it's filled just to just above the top part of the label as a guide. Hopefully it won't go everywhere. I had a recent stout in Portugal. A kind of a slightly warmer climate than the UK and it went everywhere. You probably saw it. A little bit of water because I've just swilled it out with some water and drunk the water to clean the glass. So, so it's coming out tanned in the pour. It's looking jet black in the glass. Let's try and generate a little bit of a head there. Leave it at that for now. So it's a, a three quarter, yeah, tan coloured head, not too dark, but yeah, that kind of mid range in the colour. Into the light, there is a little bit of light coming through the light directly on the other side of the glass. There's, there is some kind of ruby, kind of almost, um, yeah, mahogany colours. Plum away from the light, looking this way. There's a few of them hues coming through the bottom of the glass, but apart from that, it looks jet black if you're not looking at it in the light. So, seven point what did I say? It was 7.5. Yeah, let's get an aroma then. It's got a very kind of I'll say cherry cola but it's got that kind of aroma to it dark fruits sweet almost sweet sticky aroma a bit of coffee maybe yeah definitely smells sweet though so let's give it a try see what we got Cheers. And it's quite sweet. Definitely a brown sugar element. Not really particularly, not really particularly, not really picking up the ABV. There's a little bit left. There is literally just a little bit left. I thought it was more than that. So yeah, it's definitely a smaller size bottle than what kind of used to in the UK. It was quite cheap this beer. It was, it was about one pound eighty for for a for a bottle of this. So 
pretty cheap. Okay, it's a slightly smaller size bottle, but pff, whatever. It's come from Jamaica, so that's, that's, that's pretty good, really. Definitely sticky, sweet molasses. It's probably a little bit more sweet than it's, it's coming across more like a, a, a I would say a milk stout, but it's got that kind of vibe to it. Um, there's some dark fruits there, maybe some plums, dates, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not too over the top sweet, but we'll see how it goes. A little bit vinous, there's a, there's a bit of kind of ra raisins in there, figgy. I'm just starting to, I mean this is at room temperature, I've had this beer for a probably a month just sitting in this room it's quite a cool room in the back room there's almost near not there's not a hole in the roof but there's a hole that goes up to the the tile so in this in this room where it used to be a kind of a well it's, a, it's like a um, where well, well, the water tank used to be the hot water tank but so it's a nice reasonable temperature not too cold it's not it's not too warm either I don't really like the mega warm decent room temperature yeah, it's not too bad without going crazy. Um, a lot of people may be put off by it's, it's nearly 75% owned by Heineken. I don't, it doesn't bother me, all that sort of thing. Um, so, let me just think in terms of a rating then for this. It's an okay beer for the, for the price, it's, it's really quite good. Um, would it be a, a stout, like a go-to stout? Not for me personally. Um, not for me personally. It's, it's okay. Um, but it, uh, there's definitely other stouts that are worthy of attention more than this, I would say. But yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's above average for sure. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Um, I'll happily try it again. Um, how would this cope with, say, uh, Guinness uh, Foreign Extra Stout from Nigeria? That could be one to do a side by side, I think. You know, you know, a, a, a Caribbean via a West African stout be interesting. Um, so yeah, seven out of ten from me. Um, the scores are untapped. Ah. Oh. It's had 16,000, nearly 16,500 total ratings, 242 in the last 30 days. And it's had a total of actual ratings of just well, just shy of 13,000, so that's quite a lot. It's coming in at 3.31, so I'm giving this a 3.5, so I think it's a little bit better than that. But yeah, I think it's between the 6 and the 7 scoring range, so anyway... You should be able to pick this up in the UK. I'm not sure about elsewhere, say North America, whether you can get this or not. But yeah, it's not too bad. Um, it'd be a good beer to do a group review, I think, uh, just to get other people's or other beer tubers' opinions all together uh, on a panel. I think it'd be a good good beer to do. Um, it's, it's, it's generally it's a bit patchy. Um, availability in the UK I think sometimes you can so it's one of those it's not everywhere um, but yeah worth picking up 7 out of 10 from me so we've had this beer before from Jamaica this the Dragon Stout let me know your thoughts and opinions I must shout out um, James over at Rampart Lion Beer Reviews I've done a quick search and his name popped up he's reviewed it so Check him out. If I remember, I'll put it down below. If not, just do a Google search and you'll, you'll pick it up. Um, and apologies if anyone else I know has reviewed this, then I'm sure that li the list of people will come up when you do a Google search, if I, if I, or a YouTube search, if I forget. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.